everybody, my name is Joanne. I am the owner of Weightless Guy Studio. Uh, I want to kind of make this video to one thank you all for your support uh, since the launch of the site. I know it's kind of like bare minimum right now, but I'm getting to a lot of stuff done uh, or at least getting a lot of stuff made right now to put on there. It's going to be brand new products coming to you very soon, so please be on the lookout for that. However, this video is more about the Hidden Dreams box. Uh, I've been wanting to do this since the first box. It's just I couldn't figure out how to go about at it yet. So this is going to be the first test run. So if there's any mistake or I leave out anything, please do forgive me uh, and make sure you uh, leave suggestions or send me emails. I'll try to improve that uh, as I go along. So this bo uh, this video, not box, but this video is more for uh, showing you guys on how to uh, assemble your box products together pretty much. So once you get your box, sometimes I realize products, you're going to look at it like, what is this? You know, or oh my god, how do I wear this? Or how do I put this on my dolls? Stuff like that. So this video is what it's for. I'm going to go through the whole thing and help you kind of assemble it. So that way there will be hopefully no confusion. Um, I'll also give tips and suggestions, if any, regarding to better fitting or how you can modify it if it doesn't fit well. Things like that because I, I understand that there's so many different dolls out there now and there's so many different sizes and you go I can't cater to all and unfortunately um, but I would try my best if I could uh, moving forward the like different boxes later on if you guys have more specific sizes feel free to send me an email I will try my best to accommodate those sizes if I can uh, you don't have to feel like you're restricted to just that size. However, I will start listing um, all of my doll models or my doll sizes up there so at least you get a general idea of what, you know, uh, the one third size is going to be like, the one fourth size is going to be like, and so on. Uh, so you can get a better range of what will fit your dolls better. If none of them fit you, again, send me an email and I will gladly try to see if I can accommodate those for you. Um, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. For the merman outfit, this is uh, the top part of it. I'm having him kind of lay down right now, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but this is from the top. The way you assemble it is really easy. There's two claps in the back here, and you just connect it to here and connect it to here. You need to unconnect it, and then the loop around here kind of just go around the arm. Easy enough. Um, I put glue under here, so that way it's kind of stay on the shoulder a little better. Um, just have it lean more towards the front and it should be fine just like that Here's to the female piece the top right here It's velcroed in the back so you can easily adjust it to the size of the um, Chest of your dolls and I'm I apologize for this part But the armor piece right here has two claps one on this side and one on this side and that will hook up to here so here comes the tail piece <laughs> ignore my cat she's just watching what I'm doing here um, here's the tail piece right here I do not recommend you guys submerge this in water I know it's super counterintuitive but um, just because like all the materials I try my best to keep it like waterproof but because of the color in order to mix the color right I could not go 100% waterproof on it so I recommend not submerging it in water uh, just in case anyways but this piece right here is velcro in the back so you can use it for um, to put it on and all it is is go ahead and put it on my tip would be and I'm sorry for my cat once again but anyway my tip would be just kind of like straighten the legs and then let her I focus on the leg first have it go all the way to the end here because there's a little leg part there and then once you feel that it reaches the end, and then you would then slowly pull up um, the rest of the body, the bottom half. And these mermaid tail here is one of those fabric that you can flip it to another. So if you want that calico look, you can always adjust it from between black and green, or you can just smooth it down for the full green right here. See, flippy flippy. And then just go to the back and velcro to fitting. <laughs> I know, ignore this for now. So, there's the eyes, gorgeous eyes, of course. All those wigs are, all my wigs are made um, with fur wigs right here. So, find a T, hold your thumb in there, flip it over. The T stays on top of the hair. So, where my thumb is right there, just hold it to the top and bloop, <laughs> there you go. She's got her hair on, 
that's the wig. All of them are elasticated, so it should fit the doll fairly well, and it stays on pretty good. So you can like flip her upside down, and it'll be okay. There you go. See? Nice. So just, you know, adjust the hair. You can style it if you want. I have a styling video uh, for fur wigs if you wish to do that. So here's the crown. It's made to go on top of the hair, obviously, right? Um, this is the female one. The male one is slightly a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and prop her up and put it on. Like I said, you can style the wig however you want. This two ear piece is designed to go behind the ear and it's uh, wired. So you can actually adjust it to however you like. You can put it all the way back or all the way forward. Up to you. Let's see. There you go. Get her hair in. So just adjust it to how you like it to be. Or you can even put it out more higher. Whatever you want. There's a little mermaid queen. <laughs> this right here is the necklace. There you go. It's Again, it's wired wrapped and wire made. So that way you can adjust it to however you want. Just kind of claps it on. And let it kind of just hang out. There you go. And adjust it accordingly. Once she sits up properly, should have the necklace right there. Here is the pet. You can use the pet however you like. It's super cute. Right there. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Lastly is the weapon. Um, the weapon right here. I made it detachable to just two pieces for shipping purposes. Find the one with the least amount of pattern and just poke it in there. And then you can twirl it however you want, but there's her weapon. Yeah! This right here is the mystery gift, as you guys can see, based on the shipment. Um, the mystery gift is made for both you and your doll. You can use this as your hair piece if you want, a brooch if you want. Sorry, there you go. A brooch if you want, hair piece if you want. Or you can put it on the doll if you do not wish to wear it as, uh, with a helmet slash crown here. There you go. So this is it. You can just clip it on the side and wear it like that if you wish. Now again, it is kind of big. It's one size. It's made for you slash your doll. But that is your little mermaid. Woo! I hope you guys enjoy the mermaid box. I look forward to serving you on the next box which is the um, vampire box. Well, there you go, guys. I really hope that helps you kind of get an idea of what um, all the products looks like on your doll um, and, you know, have fun at it. Please feel free to send me any emails uh, regarding, you know, suggestions or what you want to see in the future. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. I just want to let you guys know that the next box we're working on, as you already kind of seen um, the preview or at least the theme preview, is that next box for fall is going to be vampire theme and um, our theme sub theme title is going to be descent into madness once again i do appreciate uh, your support and i really hope that you guys keep on supporting us because thanks to you guys that we can keep doing all these creative things and it's so much fun to work on this summer box you have no idea i absolutely love it the artists love it um so yeah i'll see you in the next box bye